Come on, come on. Get it, girl. Done? <laughs> I've been driving for a couple hours now. And you see the sign over in the distance. Trains and lanes. We have finally made it. We are here. Let's see what's going on. So they have an on-road track here. Right. I think with the Mugen Challenge being next week, it's not too many people here, but you got a nice little crowd. Right, let's see what kind of footage we can get. Do a couple little pits. I think they got the e-truckies going on now. We'll go check that. And Get on with our trip. Ooh, that was Sean going up on out. There you go, Jody. Thank you. Ooh, that was Chris again. I give up. Okay, hey, people, we made it out here to uh, Trains and Lanes. We stepped inside. See what's going on. So they got a little slot car racing going on. It's still 12. It's still 12. We'll probably be done at 12. <laughs> I think we have more time yet. Huh? Come. Got some great setups here. Yeah, no, the orange track. The orange track's off. The lights not on. Some of these are huge, huh? Oh, it's a young very interesting. Very large hobby store, has a little bit of everything. Got your different paints, fast color. Got your ready to run, some kits. Bad boy right there. This one here? Oh yeah. That, that, that right there is making headlines everywhere all over YouTube. Uh-oh. And actually they sell it, they sell it a lot cheaper here than anywhere else. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You racing today? Nah. No. I'm just picking up parts for my uh my X-Max. Gotcha. They got a little bit of everything here, folks. Yeah, they pretty much they pretty much have everything and if they can't get if they don't have it here they're ordering it come in like two three days yeah so it's definitely worth the wait yeah not too long ago we went up to uh trains and lanes to the race that's some of the footage you just saw a little bit but while i was there i was in the hobby shop and real informative guys in there very helpful you know shout out to all the people up at trains and lanes the owner the workers y'all did a great job man i really appreciate it uh unfortunately i got there a little too late to uh, try and qualify for the race that weekend, you know, but I still went up there and had a good time. Got a little bit of footage of the e truggy that was out there running. Nice track, you know, good condition, you know, well organized. Definitely a place that I'll be going back to in the near future. But while there, you know, I, I, I realized that it's time for me to move from the ready to run body, you know, which if you've been to Scope or, or the other places that I ran at, you know me, you know me, you know. If you've seen this thing, hugging the right side, letting everybody pass, you know, flipping, turning over, you know. Sometimes looking good, sometimes, hey, man, <laughs> that's what practice is for, you know. But so now I will keep using that as my pr official practice body. And we went out and purchased a brand new body. Now, 
Some people send their buy. This is the uh, Genuine Kiev Show part number IFB007H. You know, some people send their bodies out to be painted by professional painters. You know, and, and I'm not against that, but you know, I got into this to see what I can do myself. You know, what kind of fun I can have with it. And again, you know, if, if it turns out horrible, then I'll know for the next time. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'll know for the next time. You know, but here we go. Here's the body. You know, hopefully I can get it, my colors down, do something nice with it. You know, but I'm about to go in and get it all washed up and clean it out. And try to get the little Lexon residue on there. You know, but get you some decals to come with it, you know. And again, you can personalize it how you want. These here uh, to mask out the windows, you know, so you can do all of that. But the essentials you need is some Lexan scissors. They're inexpensive, so I recommend, you know, every two or three bodies, get a new pair. You know, that way you stay sharp, you're getting clean edges when you're doing it. You know, I call these exacto knives. I, you know, some of the new age people call it something else, hobby knives. When I was coming up, this was called an exacto knife. You know, brand new, again, some brand new blades. You know, again, all you want is to make sure that everything you're doing is smooth as possible. Now, the paints you use, I use spastics. Again, we talked with a guy up at, at Trains and Lanes. There were several different options, but no matter what you use, you want it to be a Lexan paint. You know, you just can't go out to get you some rust oleum or something and spray paint it on it. <laughs> That's not what it's made for. You know, but I got my colors here and, and I'm going to put together a little scheme, and, and hopefully it turns out to be some. I also picked up, you know, a couple decals that I will use as masking agents, as, as masks. You know, you can't, I don't know if you can see the detail in there, some of the pattern in there. It looks like, it might just like a white sheet. Oh, there you go. That angle there, you might be able to see some of the design that I'm going to use that, shape it out, mask it out, you know, put my decals on and a couple other things, you know, and I'm going to be down in it. And again, if it if it looks bad, then guess what? I'll have a second practice body. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's a little better. See some of the other decal options for the other one. You know, I'm going to come up with a little combination and see what I can come up with. Oh, yeah, I should have just did that the first time. Yeah, there you go. Just got the little splash, a little bit of that, you know, which is a little of what it looks like here, you know. There's black coming out through there, you know. So come up with a nice little color scheme, you know, and see what I can do. You know, also, while I was up there, you know, not only did I buy this stuff, but people. Again, this is the RC newbie. So, you know, I, I cannot even pretend to tell you what to go get as far as tires. But the tire game in the RC world is king. I can't believe it. So, but again, while I was up there, I grabbed these J Concepts, uh, Dirt Webs, Blue Compound. All right, they gave me a great price on them. Uh, I watched the video from my man Rajay how to take the old tires off your old rims, you know. So I got me a baking sheet. Shout out to the wife again who looked out for a man. Got me the baking sheet and the original rims and tires that came with it that are brand new. That they might have been rolled on a total of 20 minutes, if that. I'm gonna remove these. And put those J concepts on here, but don't worry about the gray. I, I got something for that too. Don't worry about that. We're gonna be sharp. We're gonna be clean. You know. But shout out again to everybody at Trains and Lanes. Thank y'all uh, for all your hospitality. You know, they they tried to get me in on the race, and I didn't want to, you know, change the lines. People had earned their times and all that, so I didn't want to be bothered with that. You know, I didn't want to interfere with that. But I will definitely be up the race again. Uh, we got a big race coming up at our. Uh, club track down at scoop it's a toys for tots halloween bash i'd like to see everybody come out there we're looking at uh, october 19th i'll have a flyer put together and out for you guys pretty soon you know that'll be my official first race you know i looking in the not looking forward to coming in last so i need some other rc newbies to come on out there we can have us a nice little novice section have some fun laughs you know put the marshals to work yeah <laughs> make sure they go out there Get your car back right side up, you know. But yeah, they have some fun. Bring a toy. It's a toys for tot, little, little fundraiser. 
if you bring a toy and you wear a costume, we got you covered on the race fees. You know, so come on out there, have a good time, support a good cause. It's the RC Newbie. I'll holler at y'all later.